Hi, this is Congressman Luke Tomorrow with another edition of Blame Buzz. Thanks for joining us this week. I want to just touch a little bit on uh, the, the recent recess that we had. Uh, we were out going around the district again, looking for, uh, looking and talking with all the different groups that uh, uh, invited us there to discuss issues. And again, the, the biggest problem, biggest concern is jobs and economy. You know, people are very concerned, they're very worried about uh, the future and where we're headed as a country, and uh, they're rightly so. You know, we're really struggling right now. Looks like we've bottomed out, but we're not getting out of this mess anytime soon. Uh, you know, it seems as though the president talks a good game when it comes to jobs and the economy. When it comes time to put uh, his, his, his words into action, we don't do it. Example, this past week, uh, we had the uh, Keystone Pipeline, which is a pipeline that ex projected to extend from Canada to the Gulf of Missis the Gulf Shore to, uh, in the Mississippi, Louisiana area. And uh, it seems as though he uh, has decided not to support that. Uh, the pipeline would create about 20,000 direct jobs, 100,000 indirect jobs, would help ease our dependence on foreign oil with a friend to the north. Uh, yet the president decides to uh, allow the environmentalist groups to which he owes much uh, to again have the, the, the tail wag the dog. And it's unfortunate because we're at a critical time in our country's history where we need those jobs, we need that independence from foreign oil, especially with what's going on in Iran, and yet he doesn't do it. Again, watch his actions, don't listen to his words. We've got the State of the Union speech coming up shortly uh, this next week, and from that uh, we're going to hear a lot of talk, a lot of rhetoric, I'm sure, about jobs and what we can do for the economy, and we're going to do this and that. Uh, the President dropped the ball this week on his first opportunity in the new year to create jobs, to help us with energy independence, and uh, uh, he's got a lot of making up to do as far as I'm concerned. So with that, look forward to talking to you next week. Till then, 